issues about getting names right and pronouncing it right. Um, you Your interlude on that topic, an old one, is also really poignant and also one of those way ahead of the curve interludes. And what makes it powerful isn't so much the point of I, I want my name spoken right. It was all the internal struggle that you went through, sort of self-identifying, being comfortable, choosing how you wanted to be identified, and how it landed on you. And that um, you can tell me if I'm wrong. You can always tell me if I'm wrong. But you talked about how Pav isn't necessarily your name, mm-hmm. Pavan. Mm-hmm. But you came to appreciate Pav in how the teacher showed appreciation and caring and how they delivered that name. Yeah. And so sort of tone and intent mattered. And so it was really interesting to me, t- despite knowing something, to actually really learn something. And I learned about your name, but I also learned about the vast complexities of how students deal, cope, a self-actualize, self-actualize, self actual as lot. Never mind. You got it. Edit that out. We Pause. all got it. No, I should just push <laughs> the button. Um, I just found that of such value um, for me personally. Yeah. And thus as an educator. So I knew right from the time, like this one I've been holding on to even.